Stay tuned for some traditional stained glass painting. If you aren't familiar with traditional stained glass painting, you'll notice that the technique appears to be somewhat backwards to what we would expect to see when we refer to painting. In this case, the glass is covered with a very thin layer of paint, which is allowed to dry, and then using brushes or other scraping tools, the paint is removed from areas where we want the light to come through. As the artist, you get to control the light with paint. Now the paint is generally worked in single layers, and once it has been manipulated, or created the, the effect we're looking for, it's then fired onto the glass in a kiln at temperatures of around 1250 degrees. This sets the paint and allows us to build another layer of paint on top without undoing the previous layers we've already done. Different tools and different ways of using the tools create different effects when removing the paint. Up until now, I was making the tiny lines in the feathers and so a dragging motion with the brush was used. Now I'm looking to lighten the areas without adding any more lines, and so a pouncing or stippling motion is used. This usually creates small dots instead of lines and is a great way to remove just a little bit more paint to allow more light to come through the glass. Any paint dust that builds up from scraping can be recycled into my paint palette. So when you see the glass is moved away from the camera, I was taking a moment to knock the paint dust back onto my palette to use again. The first layer that you saw me scraping away with a brush was a mixture of paint, gum arabic, and water. And I have played with adding second layers of paint before firing using clove and lavender oil as my medium. But in this video, I was attempting the second layer of paint before firing using propylene glycol. It wasn't flowing as nicely as the clove oil for a second layer on top of the unfired paint, but in the end, I did manage to get the lines I needed. Now, if you have something to add to today's topic, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about making stained glass and fused glass art, start by subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss a thing. Thanks for watching.